Hey guys, it's uh, almost five o'clock here. The market is closed. I took an aftermarket trade. I got most of it on video, but it ended up being a very long video. So I thought it would be better to do just a trade recap. Um, so essentially what I did was um, I was looking to, I've been looking to catch a pre-market runner like this. You see this thing kind of in consolidation here and then it shoots up. This was TGC. It popped up on my aftermarket uh, top gainers list. And I saw it like right away, like at 403, I think. And um, so these two candles had formed and this one was forming, but it was pulling back when I saw it. So I thought, okay, it's only up two candles. I can get in there when it breaks the high of that candle. And that's what I did. And, and you'll see that in the video here. Hey guys, it's uh, four. What's gonna happen here? So, uh, so by the time I got the video rolling, I had already sold half my shares. I, like I said, I bought in for the break of this candle, and then you notice that my fill was actually a little bit lower because it broke and then it popped down a little bit more. So I got filled a little bit lower. I had my stop loss. Uh, my, you know, I have to use a mental stop loss because it's the aftermarket. You can't have a hard stop, but I'm really good and you know now <laughs> um, about taking those I don't mess around I just take them as soon as they get hit and uh, so that was where my stop loss was at so the fact that it, it popped down a little bit was okay and uh, but very quickly it, it just shot right back up and around a dollar 34 which is right where it is right now I sold half my shares um, hit my sell half button and that sold out five out of the 11 shares because you know it can't sell five and a half so, so that's why right now I only have six shares at $1.19. Now that's my strategy. As soon as this thing pops up, I take half of my position and, uh, and, and then I just wait. And if it comes back down to my entry, then I sell all. Otherwise I ride it out. And, and that's essentially what I did. To sell all. Um, let's see. See if this is like a pullback or it's so yeah what ends up happening is this thing comes back down it chops around a little bit and i figured you know what let me take um 50 uh let me sell three more shares and, and get a little more profit because again it's the aftermarket you can't have stops if i could just ride a stop up you know then i, I would do it a little differently but So I think when I saw that pop there, I was thinking I should, yeah, sell half. I missed a little bit of it, but. Yeah, let me just sell half again. I'll, I'll still have three shares. So I ended up getting out at 133 there. So uh, my first sell was at 134. This was at 133. So those are both very good moves. Order execution's a little bit slow. I mean, yeah, and, then, and I, I start talking about execution. I had my computer on all day. I think that was probably it. Um, and the orders were filling fast. It was just these bubbles were updating kind of slowly. So now this thing's pulling back again, and I'm kind of getting ready to sell all. But then look, it shoots back up. And I think after one more pop up, you know, I sell half again because I just figure, you know what, I've, I've already, I mean, I, you know, I, I appreciate a 10 cent move here. I'm getting like 20 cents. So, um, or over 20 cents. So, you know, I'm just kind of, uh, grateful for it. And, you know, just let me, let me take what I can get. So there I sold half again. So that was just one share at that point for 142. So yeah, that was like 23 cents. And then uh, it starts to pull back again. After actually, I mean, it, go, it continues higher here. It goes all the way to 156. And now, so now I'm thinking, man, this thing is so strong. You know, I'm going over my orders. You can look at them here. This thing is so strong that if it pulls back and then it starts to head back up, you know, I can add in. And because my I have a still have a share at a dollar nineteen, I can average in, and I could be instantly in the green, which is true. But only if I would have only added one share or maybe two shares, and I kind of goofed. Um, you'll see here what happened. But I didn't consider buying until basically this candle. This candle started forming, and I said, okay, this is like a nice small, small-ish candle. 
Um, you know, so I could get like a decent stop loss. Now I'm marking out support right here, thinking if this thing comes down to support, it could bounce off and go higher. Um, yeah, actually, sorry, it wasn't this candle. This one ended up being pretty big. It was this candle that it's forming right now. Oh, no, no. Hold on. I'm sorry. Yeah. So it was on this candle. This candle did get a little bit bigger, but I said, okay, if, if it breaks this candle, then I'll add in. And that's what ends up happening over here. I'll just let you watch it. So 146. So I would be in at 147 to add. And that's where I goofed. I hit, <laughs> I hit my, you know, buy full position size again. So, um, so essentially that bought me 10 more shares. So the average was almost to where the price was, you know, uh, when I bought it and that's not what I wanted to happen. So I realized pretty quickly and got out. And that brought my, uh, position way, way up. That might have not been the smartest thing to do. I'm going to get out there. <laughs> Um, yeah. Yeah. So it's cause I only had one. Sh yeah. So you see what happened there. And, uh, luckily I realized right away I, I messed up and I got out because look at, and let's see what happened here. If I would have held on to that, um, there's that support line. Let's just see real quick where we are in the video. We're at like 420. Yeah, right there. And then what's, what happened to this thing? It just sell, sells off basically because I got out at 143 and then look, we're, we're actually he went below my, uh, my entry there. So at, you know, at one point I was considering holding one share, just letting it ride and seeing, you know, maybe this thing will be like a top gainer in the morning, but look, it's already below my entry. So I'm glad, you know, that I didn't hang around in this stock for any longer than I did. And, uh, you know, that's a greed can get you into trouble. And maybe that's a little bit of what happened there at the end, too. But um, but at least I kind of uh, cut my losses real quick there. So essentially what happened is I was up a dollar forty um, by, by the time I put that order in. And then I lost thirty three cents on that last, um, you know, when I added and and it, I basically lost three cents. Uh, per share when I sold and since I had 11 shares that was 33 cents. So overall I made a dollar six um, Which is pretty good because uh, Even if you consider like the $30 uh, total trade Well, it was less than $30, but we can just round it up the um, the return on investment is, is over three and a half percent. So that's pretty good. I mean, a lot of like scalpers and stuff, uh, you know, they, they, they trade with like hundreds of thousands of dollars and, and, and they take uh, trades that return them uh, sometimes a quarter of a percent or uh, two thirds of a percent or something like that. So anytime I can get a 1% or more return on my uh, investment, that's a win to me. So anyway, that was my aftermarket trade. Um, I've been trying to catch one of these for a few days now and, and finally caught one. And in a, a market like we've been having lately, I think this is pretty much as good as it gets. You're not really going to get much better. Um, I caught most of the move here. I got in at like 119 and I think I, my biggest fill was around 146. So, you know, I caught a nice, a nice chunk of this run. So I'm pretty happy with that trade and I hope it helped you, um, to watch, me go through that trade and and also see the mistakes i made along the way and anyway good luck out there always use your trading armor